Good morning, everybody. My name is Noah. I'm one of the educators with Shortcuts. And today, we're going to be looking at Shortcuts Marketing. So this is the default marketing option in Shortcuts, regardless of whether you're on our top tier package or our introductory package. So we're going to learn how to send messages. So let's jump right into it. So of course, we are recording this webinar. It's going to be about 45 minutes. We have a lot to cover. Uh, my microphone is on, we're recording, and if you can't stay through the entire presentation, that's okay. We will send you a link to the recording a little bit later. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and post those. Try to save them for the end unless there's something pressing. And if you're watching this after the fact, you can always reach out to us and ask the questions via email, give us a call, or even ask us a question on social media. We will get back to you. So let's jump right into it. So shortcuts marketing. So this is the default marketing option for all of our customers, regardless again of which tier package you're on. So even if you have uh, the basic version of shortcuts, Fusion, and maybe you're just a barbershop that deals mainly with walk-in customers, not so many uh, appointments, things like that, you still have the ability to email your customers. Not only that, you can set up automated emails for your customers so that if you haven't seen a customer for a few months and you just want to send them a reminder email, we can actually set up the system to do that. So that's what Shortcuts Marketing is about. So in order to do that, you need to make sure that your shortcut system is set up and able to use marketing. So how exactly do you do that? You do that by making sure you clean up your customer privacy and your customer list. So let's look at that in the actual shortcuts. So of course, if you've never used our marketing platform, it's very easy. Not only do you have the option to send the shortcuts uh, email marketing, you can also use it to send text marketing. If you have, uh, let's say you've signed up for confirmations through shortcuts, you can actually dip into that confirmation allowance and send out a text blast to your customers. So let's jump into it again. So who exactly is getting these emails or getting these text blasts? How do you know that they're set up properly? In your shortcuts point of sale system, in your actual shortcuts fusion, there are opt-in options for your customers. If you were to go to the client card, you would normally see this on the main card portion. On the right side, there's a bunch of check boxes that says, yes, I want to get a text or an email uh, marketing. So those are your campaigns. Or I want to get text or email confirmations. If you have a spotlight, that is the shortcuts ratings and reviews, you can even opt in or opt out of that. So if you've never set this up, then you want to make sure you enable these features. So it's very critical that you have these opt-in details enabled in your system. Now, let's say you're running an old version of shortcuts, one that doesn't necessarily have these options, then you might want to see about getting an update, getting an upgrade for your system, because these options are very important with regards to customer privacy. And if you're especially in North America and England and the other countries that have set up the uh, the customer privacy laws, you absolutely have to make sure that customers have the ability to opt in or opt out whenever you request their contact information. Now, we did do a presentation a little earlier this year on how to merge duplicate clients, and you can also watch the video online. So if you just want to clean up your customer list, clean up your contact list, then go ahead and go through, watch our video, learn how to do the merges, and then go back and start to set up your options. So how do you bring these options up in the actual shortcuts? Whenever you add a new customer, how do you get the options for marketing or confirmations or ratings and reviews? You actually go to Setup, Configuration. Under General, you're going to go to Clients and the fourth tab on the Clients page, which is New Client Layout. There you'll actually have the ability to check or uncheck which fields should be available in the new client tab. Now, by default, let's say you've never set this up, you've never used it, 
by default, customers are always opted out of receiving these campaigns. So even if earlier years ago you had gotten a customer's name or email or phone number, they don't necessarily get opted in to receive those messages. So you always want to enable that feature so that you can ask the customer, would you like to get a confirmation for your appointment? Or would you like to get our email marketing blast? We send out coupons, for example, on your birthday. So then customers can say, yes, I'd like to receive that. So make sure you configure this first. The other thing you want to configure is if you're going to be sending some sort of campaign that has a coupon or has some sort of promotion. For example, if you want to send a customer an automated email on their birthday that has a coupon for a few dollars off a service or a product, set up that discount on your main shortcut server. So in the point of sale, you're going to go to setup, configuration, and then you're going to go to the sales and discounts button. So that's where you're going to tell shortcuts. What's the value of this discount? What do you call it? And is it available for services or products or gift cards or all three? So think about setting up those coupons for an entire year's worth of promotions, especially when it comes to automated emails. So we can send emails on somebody's birthday automatically. We can also send them whenever you have a new customer. So when that customer checks out for their very first visit, you can send them a coupon to try to win them back for a second consecutive visit. If you have a customer that you haven't seen in three months, which is historically a lost client, and you're trying to win them back, then you can set up a coupon to try to entice the customer to return after three months. And again, the email can be set to send automatically, look for a customer that hasn't visited in more than three months, and offer them a coupon. So to configure your actual campaigns, where do you go? You don't necessarily configure them in the shortcuts point of sale. You would configure them online. So you do not have to be on the main shortcut system to do these next few steps. So any computer that gets an internet connection, you're going to go to the console. Most of you are familiar with the console. This is the page that you go to when you're setting up online booking, or if you're looking at your customer surveys, or if you're gonna give your staff permission to look at their appointments or even make appointments for themselves when they're working remotely. So that's gonna be on the console page. And once you're there, you're going to do some configuration. So every time you send out an email, that email can have your company logo, it can have links to your social media. So you're going to go to the console. You're going to go to the site settings button that has a little gear icon on it. And that's where you're going to update your logo. So again, that appears on your emails if you choose to. The other things you're going to configure are the main social media pages, including your main company website, if you have a company website. So you'll update your contact information, your business phone number, your business email, your website, and your social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Now, let's say you don't have all of these social media pages or you don't have a company website, that's okay. If you do not have those, if you leave those blank, then the icons, the little buttons, do not appear on the email that you send out. But if you do fill those in, then every time you send out a campaign, then Shortcuts will remember to put a little icon at the bottom of the email so that customers can visit your Facebook page or your Instagram page. So you want to make sure you configure your site settings before you start sending out email campaigns. So you're going to configure your customers in the Shortcuts point of sale so that they can opt in or opt out of those campaigns. Or every time you have a new client, that they're opted in or opted out. You're going to go online and update your site settings, add your logo, add your social media. And then once you do that, now you're ready to access the cloud and actually set up 
email campaigns. So there's two ways to get to the cloud. From the console itself, on the right side, you should have a button that says Shortcuts Cloud. So that's how most of you know how to get there. But let's say you just want to bookmark the cloud page itself. You can actually find it if you go to pos.pointofsale.shortcutsoftware.com, and then you should have a site ID number. That's the page that you're going to bookmark. So you should use the same username, you should use the same password that you would use in the console. Once you're there, at the top of the screen, you're going to go to marketing. So that's under the menu, if you don't see it, general settings, marketing. So let's go there and you're gonna choose your campaign. So there's several types of email campaigns or SMS campaigns that you can be sending to customers. There's a targeted campaign, a message to all clients, or one of several automated campaigns. So from the marketing page on the left side, you're gonna see these options. Once you select what type of campaign you're gonna send, whether it's targeted to a specific group of customers, message all customers, or one of the automated ones like happy birthday or we miss you. Then you're gonna choose, are you sending an email or are you sending a text? So once you decide which you're sending, in this case, let's say we're going to go with email. So by default, every template will include your, your company logo. But if you decide you also want to include a graphic, something perhaps that says happy birthday or a picture of the salon itself, that's when you can choose display image and upload a file. So all of the automated campaigns, everything past the message all clients, those send on very specific intervals. So the birthday one, as you can imagine, sends on a customer's birthday. The time to see you again, the friendly reminder, sends after a few weeks, after the customer's last visit. The referral campaign, if a client refers another customer, when that other customer checks out, the person that did the referral will get an email. And the we miss you, the one that's designed for lost clients, so that'll send more than three months after their last visit. So you can change the subject on any of the automated templates. So instead of happy birthday, you can change the message to say, we wish you a happy birthday from our salon. You can also customize the body of the campaign. So all of our templates, all of our automated templates have default wording in there. Happy birthday, we look forward to seeing you. Here's a coupon for your visit. You're welcome to delete all of that and type your own custom message. And if you want the email to include things like the customer's first name or the customer's last name, there is an option for insert field. Now, everything I'm talking about, everything I'm showing slides on, I'm not just gonna show you the slides on it, I'm actually gonna walk you through the steps. But these are the specific steps. So remember that when you're sending out a campaign that has some sort of coupon, has some sort of voucher, you're always going to set those up in the shortcuts point of sale. So the birthday one, that's usually the most popular email you could be sending out. So again, whether it's worth a percentage, whether it's worth a dollar amount off a service or a product, set that up first. Because shortcuts, when you go to marketing, it will identify all of the discounts you've already created in the point of sale. So as you're creating your birthday email, you're going to have a pull down menu that says, which discount do you want to keep track of? So shortcuts marketing actually allows you to see how successful your campaigns were. So at the end of the year, you can see how many birthday emails did you send? how many customers actually use their birthday coupon. This is how Shortcuts accomplishes this. So make sure you set up your promotions first, your coupons, 
and then select those coupons in marketing. And let's say you're just sending out a general information email. You do not have to use the book now or check in buttons at the bottom of the templates. You can eliminate any row by pressing the little X on the right side of that row. So again, you don't have to use the coupon. If you're not sending a coupon out, you can eliminate that row. And you can also eliminate the check in or book now rows. So of course, the last step, you want to take a look at what your email looks like. So you can press preview and marketing will actually give you a pop-up window that shows you what the email looks like. You can also send a test email to yourself. So if you just want to look at it on your phone, look at it on your computer, you can also do that. So you can still make your edits. And once you're absolutely happy with it, then you can press activate. So then it'll send out to all of your customers on a specific day or time. So let's actually run through the setup process. So I'm going to go to the cloud. So I'll jump out of here for a second. So remember, before you send, set up your email campaigns from the console, you want to go to site settings. You're going to update your company logo. You're going to update your social media links. And then after you do that, after you press save, then you're going to go to the cloud. Shortcuts Cloud. Once you're in the cloud, you're going to go to the marketing button at the very top. So even if you do not have Shortcuts Cloud Appointment Book, Shortcuts Cloud Reports, anything like that, every customer by default still has the marketing option. So that's just by default. Everybody can always send out an email. Once you're in marketing, on the left side, what type of campaign are you going to set up? Is this a message to all customers? In which case, I would create an email that I'm going to send all of my clients. Or is this one that I want to have automated, like the happy birthday one? So let's say it's a happy birthday. Once I select that type of campaign, Shortcuts gives me two options. Am I setting up an email campaign for the birthdays or an SMS blast that sends to a specific customer on their birthday? Well, email is the most popular. So if I choose the email option, notice display logo is selected by default. I've uploaded a picture. So I had a picture that I wanted to use and any pictures for these campaigns, you always want to stick with the default size, 600 by 300. Now, if you upload a picture that's slightly larger, Shortcuts Marketing will scale it down so that it fits in that frame. And then I start to change my message. So happy birthday. And I can actually use the pull down menu on the right side where it says insert field. So that every time this email goes out, the subject includes the actual customer's first name. So in this case, the message says happy birthday to my client from Angel Salon. And then the body of the text. Again, I can customize this message. I can delete whatever shortcuts has by default, and I can change it to say whatever I want. So then I choose, what is my coupon? What is the value of my coupon? This is just text. So I can put in a message, offer text, $3 off any service, and I can even customize that. So I can say $3 off any service, present it to, and put in the customer's name. And I'm putting in their full name. So in this case, the customer doesn't make a send a copy of this email or forward it to their friends and family so they can get the same coupon because it includes one specific person's name. So then I choose, what is the discount code associated with it? So remember, I created these discounts in my shortcuts point of sale already. So I would go in here 
and I would choose from my pull down list, this is going to be my birthday email coupon. I'll put in my terms and conditions. So, of course, you don't want every coupon to be worth the same value or to be good for the same amount of time. If it's somebody's birthday, maybe give them a coupon that's good for 30 days. But if you're setting up the We Miss You campaign and a customer hasn't visited you in three months, you don't want them to get an additional month worth of coupon that they can use. Give them a cutoff of maybe seven days or 14 days. So you'll change that. You'll put in the rules, valid on services only, can't combine it with anything else. And then if you want to use your online booking link, put it in there, you can do that. And then I can press preview. And then marketing will generate a little window here that shows what my email campaign looks like. Now, if I'm happy with that preview, I can always press activate and then it goes live. On somebody's birthday, they're going to get this message. And all of my social media links are at the bottom of the email. So that's automatic. But if I want to take a look at it, perhaps show it to one of my coworkers, I can always press send test, put in my email, and then hit send. So if I press done, Shortcuts Marketing will actually save all of the changes I made. And later on, I can return to that happy birthday template I was working on. And when I'm officially happy with it, then I can press the activate button. And now it's live for my salon. Anytime somebody's birthday rolls around, this email will send, up that, send out that morning. So if I go back to campaign type, type on the left side of the screen, everything from appointment acknowledgement on, those are all automated campaigns that you could be sending. Whenever somebody makes an appointment at your salon or your spa or your barbershop, as soon as they do that, they can get an email that says, thank you for your appointment. This is the day and the time of your visit. So it's going to be sent to them 30 minutes after their appointment is created. And all of these others have a specific window. New client will send out after a, a client visits you for the first time, it'll send out the next day. If somebody no-shows their appointment and you mark their appointment in the appointment book as a no-show, you can have an automatic email that goes out to the client. Pre-arrival instructions. So if you're going to set something and message to go out a few minutes, maybe 30 minutes before the start of their appointment or one hour before the start of their appointment, you can have a pre-arrival instruction. So that's critical, especially for the locations that are still dealing with COVID and you have very specific rules such as make sure to bring a mask or if you're running a fever, please call to reschedule or only the customer that is receiving the service is allowed to visit, please don't bring a guest. So you can set all of that up before the customer's appointment. If somebody does a referral, the person that did the referral should get a thank you email. And then the two versions of the We Miss You. The first one, time to see you. So if a customer hasn't visited in six weeks and they don't have a future appointment, then they're going to get a time to see you email. Just a friendly reminder, there's no coupon that you really should have attached to this. It's just a reminder. The second version, this is the actual we miss you. So this is the one for, again, the customers that are historically lost clients. They haven't seen you in more than three months. So you're, we're gonna try to entice them. We're gonna try to win them back by offering them a coupon. So just keep that in mind. If you're not currently using shortcuts marketing, it's very easy to set up these campaigns. It's very easy to set up automated campaigns. Just don't forget the steps we talked about. Making sure you create a coupon in your shortcuts point of sale system so that you can track it when you're actually setting up your campaign. Make sure to add your social media links, your contact information in the shortcuts console. You're gonna to go to site settings and update that information there.
and this information will synchronize with your email campaigns. And then if you just want to message all of your customers, that's where you have the option to message all clients. So you can actually tell shortcuts. At what time are you going to send out your campaign? On what day are you going to send out your campaign? What is this message about? So you can always choose just an email blast to all of your customers or SMS blast. So for all of our automated campaigns, let's say you've recorded more customer phone numbers than email addresses and you decide, okay, maybe on their birthday, I don't want to send an email. I want to send a text. You can absolutely set that up. So you can say happy birthday, put in the customer's name. Here's our birthday gift. Perhaps you'll say they have a $3 coupon. Thank you for visiting us. At the bottom of the screen, that does give you a character limit. So make sure you don't go over this. Otherwise, the marketing will send two messages. So keep your messages, your text blast, short and simple. You can send a test to yourself or you can activate it. And instead of an email, your system will send a text blast on their birthday. And that goes for all of the automated campaigns, as well as the message to all clients. You can just send a text blast to all of your customers. So let's jump back. So I mentioned that you can set up an SMS campaign and the steps are very comparable to the emails. It's very easy to set up. You can insert the customer's name or contact information. You can see the character limits. You can send a test to yourself. You can actually put in your phone number, activate it. And you can always track your progress for your campaigns. So if you want to see how many customers actually opened that birthday campaign, how many used their birthday coupons, you can bring that up by going to the dashboard and near the bottom of the screen, there's a campaign return on investment line. And for all of those automated messages, it will say, what was the name of the message? How many were sent? How many responded? And how many actually used their coupons? What was the value of it? What was their return on investment? So of course, most customers that receive a coupon end up spending more than the value of the coupon. So it's not like they just go in there, get a free haircut, and that's it. They're going to buy products. They're going to get add-on services. So every coupon has a potential of generating much more business than what the coupon is worth. And you can even set it for a specific date range. Do I want to see how well my happy birthday campaign ran for the first half of the year or the last half of the year or just for the past two months? You can set that for all of your campaigns. So that is the entirety of Shortcuts Marketing. So again, this is the default marketing for all of our customers. Everybody has access to this. It does take a little bit of setup if you haven't already done that. So you should know how to prepare your shortcut system to use marketing, how to create an email or how to create an SMS blast and how to track your progress. So this is the portion where we open up the floor to you. So if you have any questions with regards to shortcuts marketing, now's your chance to ask the question. If you're on the GoToWebinar tool on the right side, there is a question or a chat window. Go ahead and post your questions there. I'll give you a few moments to do that. Now, if you're watching this after the fact, so if you're watching a copy of this recording and you think of a question, something that I didn't cover, or something that you need some clarification on with regards to shortcuts marketing, you can always reach out to us. You can email us, contact our customer care or help desk, or even ask us the question on social media, and we will get back to you. So I'll give everybody just a few more moments. And I don't think I have any questions right now. 
So we'll go to the next part. So again, if you're watching this video after the fact and you have any follow-up questions, go ahead and give our customer success team a call, Customer Care USA at shortcuts.net or reach out to us on social media. Oh, somebody does have a question. Hold on just a moment. Heather has a question. Do you need to pay more for emails or text? The emails are actually free. If you're going to use text campaigns, there is a charge for the text campaigns. And it's usually one of the shortcuts SMS bundles that you would sign up for. Normally, you would use the bundles to do confirmations a day or two days before a customer visits, but you don't have to use them for, con for uh, confirmations. Instead, you can use those SMS to do monthly email blasts. So there is a charge for that if you're doing SMS, but email, email is free for everybody. Good question, Heather. Okay, does anybody else have a question? I'll give you a moment. And again, if you're watching this video after the fact, you can reach out to us, give us a call, and we will get back to you. So thank you all for attending. Next week, we're actually going to do a more advanced look. So what are some advanced tips that you can use for shortcuts marketing? And this includes how to set up a targeted campaign. Oh, we have one more question. Heather is asking, how do you edit your Google confirmations? Now, for Google, that's actually handled through Google. So shortcuts doesn't have any visibility. So there's no place in the console or no place in the, uh, the shortcuts point of sale to change that. Oh, but uh, Heather's following up with shortcuts confirmations. So how do you edit those confirmation messages? So I'll step out of this for a second and I'll bring up the shortcuts point of sale. So it'll take a moment to launch. Now, if you are already using SMS text confirmations through shortcuts, this is where you would go to change the message. So we'll give it a moment. And this is where you would go to change the message, whether it's a text campaign that you're sending or an email confirmation that you're sending. So when shortcuts comes up and I have my test database launching now, we're going to go to setup configuration and that's on the right side at the bottom. There it is. It looks like it's launching. There we go. So I'll say done. So this is my test one. I'm going to go to setup configuration and on the left side of the screen, we're going to go to general and confirmation. So notice this is grayed out because I do not have an actual account on here. So normally you would have a checkbox that says support for text or support for email. And then if you click on the message button, this is where you can change the message that you're sending out. So the default high, It'll put in the customer's name, it'll put in the salon name, confirming appointment, and it'll put in the time and the date. So yes equals confirm, no equals cancel, or phone, and it'll put in your business phone. So you're welcome to change all of the wording here, and you can use add field. If you want to insert the customer's name, your confirm response, or the day or the time of their visit, and it even shows you how many characters this is going to take out of your message. Your SMS blast, your text blast, uh, it's 160 characters that you're sending out. So your message has to be under that. Otherwise, shortcuts will send two text blasts to each client. But this is where you make your edits. Now, if I had the third option, email, there would be a third row here. And if I press the message button, then shortcuts will say, okay, what is the email message that you're going to send for confirmations? 
Now, if you don't have confirmations, if you've never used confirmations through shortcuts, then you probably want to sign up for one of our SMS bundles. If you contact our customer care team, there are different bundles that you can sign up for. If you're only sending a few hundred every month or if you're sending thousands every month, we offer really great uh, rates on those. So you can always reach out for that. Okay. I think I've answered all of the questions now. How does the customer list get loaded for SMS? So David, are you thinking of a targeted campaign for your SMS or just for all customers? So David, we're actually gonna talk about that on next week's class, but I will give you a preview. If you're already familiar with setting up the campaigns, I'll just do this real quick. So stand by just a second. So in shortcuts, you would go to tools and marketing. And this is what we're gonna talk about next week. In marketing, you choose who are the clients that you're going to message. Is it clients that had certain services, didn't have certain services? Is it new clients based on a certain date range? We're gonna go through this. And then once you press compute at the bottom of the screen, shortcuts will actually say, okay, this list of customers, do you wanna save them? And we will save them. Once you save that list of customers, when you go to the marketing option, you're going to go to a targeted campaign. And whether you're emailing them or sending a text blast, you're going to follow all of the same steps we talked about. But at the bottom of the screen, there's a question that says, please choose the file of the shortcuts customers that you're targeting. So we will go through the list specifically uh, next week in detail so that you can see those steps. But if you're already comfortable with marketing, if you're already comfortable with shortcuts, then those are really the main steps. Okay. I think those are all the questions we have right now. So, if you have any other questions, and again, if you're watching after the fact, go ahead and reach out to us, send us a message or give us a call, and we will get back to you. And if you want to see more advanced things that the marketing can do through shortcuts, go ahead and attend next week's class. So thank you all for attending, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next session. Have a great day, everybody.